thank you all for joining us today and learning more about the adult degree program here at HT. I'm definitely excited to speak with you about it. Hopefully you guys have some good questions for us or maybe I did a great job and you don't have any questions because I did such a good job. Um, so we will see. Uh, so um, today we, or this evening we'll, um, I'll introduce you to your support team. So who works with these students, um, what departments actually do to help you along the way to starting your classes. And once you get into your classes, uh, also we'll discuss what that will look like. Um, and of course you'll get to get any additional questions um, that you have answered uh, tonight as well. So to introduce the enrollment team that we have, um, so my name is Courtney Walker and I am the enrollment manager for the adult degree program here at HT. Um, I've been here next month, it will be seven years. Um, so been here for a few years, I enjoy working with the adult program students. Um, I've been doing enrollment um, for over 10 years. Uh, so something that I definitely like doing, enjoy doing, um, and love to see you guys in the beginning and then walk across the stage once you're done. Uh, and then we also have Tyra Smith, who is an enrollment coach. Um, Tyrus, I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Tyrus Smith. I am an enrollment coach with the adult degree program. Um, I've been with them for about five years, since 2015. Um, I graduated from HT as well. Um, I was an undergrad and my major was kinesiology. Graduated in 2012 and ever since I've been working for the school. Um, I enjoy what I do as well and look forward to giving the individuals uh, opportunities to further the education. Um, I look forward to answering any questions you guys have tonight. So please don't hold back and provide any questions that you may have for us. Courtney, back over to you. All right, thank you for that, Tyrus. And so a few things um, that you can expect from an enrollment coach. Um, basically our job here is to help you nail down your career goals and help you find a program that's gonna be best fit for you. Uh, we also talk to you about the adult degree program to make sure that it can work out for you and what you're looking for uh, to continue your education. So we you know, speak with you in the beginning to give you the basic details, but we also help you along the way so that you can start class um, on the best foot possible uh, and enjoy your educational journey after that. You will also have a financial aid team um, that helps you explore your financial options um, and ways that to help you pay for school. Uh, Tyrus and I also talked to you a little bit about this, but of course we're not the financial team. Um, that team will be the folks that will be able to assist you with getting in more uh, in-depth detail regarding your financial aid, um, if you have particular situations or circumstances, they can speak to you about it and help you um, understand what your options are when it comes to paying for school. Um, some ways that we can help you save or pay for school um, through the financial aid, uh, through financial aid um, is going to be, uh, you know, scholarships, grants, loans, um, different things that fall under the financial aid umbrella. Um, at least 90% of the students qualify for financial aid. Um, and so most of our students do use it. Um, it's a great way to help you pay for tuition um, and come out of your pocket as least amount as possible. And so I have a poll that I would definitely like to, to see um, if everyone kind of has an understanding of what does financial aid consist of? You know, is it let me launch this poll here. And if you see the poll, please answer. Um, you know, does financial aid consist of grants? Does it consist of just loans? Does it consist of scholarships? Or is it all of the above? And so to share the results with you, um, three of you, right, if we include um, the person who just spoke, mentioned that it's all of the above, and that's correct. Your financial aid is gonna consist of your grants. It's gonna consist of loans. Um, those things initially come from completing your FAFSA and then also getting scholarships. Um, those are things that are going to help you pay for school. Um, by initially filling out the FAFSA, right, you get the basic information as far as Pell Grants, but there's other grants that are out there that can assist you um, that you may find out later after being in contact with the financial aid office. Um, so those are some um, different areas that consist of financial aid. Um, transfer credits, that's another way um, that can help you with saving a little bit of money. And so when you're bringing in existing college credits, that's money that you've already spent, you don't have to spend more of. And so 
with uh, what we do in the process is try to bring over as many lower level credits as possible um, that are course C or higher um, that are considered college level credits to help save you time and money in the long run um, so that you're not having to necessarily pay for classes that you've already taken. Um, some classes at other schools may seem similar, um, but we do our best to make sure that you're not repeating courses that you don't need to. We want to see you graduate as soon as possible, just like you want to graduate as soon as possible. Uh, we also offer uh, tuition discounts um, for those who work for um, Department of Public Safety, uh, City of Austin, anyone that is active duty or retired uh, or veteran for the military. And so um, tuition discount is about 20% off just the tuition. Uh, so standard tuition rate is $420, uh, $420.25 per credit hour. And so it'll be a 20% discount off of there. And here are a list again of some of the um, departments that we are able to offer discounts for. Um, raise your hand on the, in the chat um, if you work for any of these particular departments. Okay. Um, it looks like I see we have at least one person that does. Um, and so if you do work with these departments, if you're working with Tyrus or myself, please make sure that you um, remind us of that so that we can have you supply the necessary documentation as well as complete the necessary form so that you can get that discount. Uh, we want you to be able to take advantage of that opportunity. Um, do we have any questions um, thus far on just kind of ways to save when it comes to the discount or transfer credits? Raise your hand. No questions? All right, moving on. Um, so on the line, uh, we also have our student services team um, who I will allow to introduce themselves um, and they can kind of speak on what they do um, for you guys. Uh, good evening, everyone. I am Shakitha Stinson, the Director of Student Services for our Adult Degree Program. And I have been with the university, uh, well, actually, I'm a proud graduate of Houston Tillotson College back in 1997. And um, I have been with the university both as uh, an employee working and uh, if you combine my student uh, years, a uh, total of about 22. 22, 23, going on 23 years uh, at the university. Um, I've been in multiple roles. I've been on the traditional side in admission and I've worked in financial aid on the uh, traditional side as well. Uh, also done some adjunct work um, with the university, I've taught your first year, uh, the first year experience, but I've also taught uh, the first class um, that m some students take beginning at the AA level. Um, and I am just so thrilled to uh, be working with the adult degree program. I have been with the, this program since its inception in 2013 and um, just look forward to to uh, you all joining us. Uh, I like to see you come and I like to see you go. Graduation is my second most favorite thing of um, of this work that I do uh, because it's, so, it's such a rewarding experience to see um, you all, particularly as adults, um, you know, traditional students, they come, they don't always know why they're here. Um, they don't always come uh, with the intent to really go to school, you know, a lot of them try to just get out of the house. Um, then their parents, some parents say, you know, you, you, when they graduate from high school, you go to work, you go to college, or you go to the military. And so sometimes they just wake up and say, oh, I guess I'll go to school. I don't want to go to the military and I'm not really wanting to work right now. So um, they choose school. And that's not always... Um, that's not always their priority. But you as adults, some of you, a lot of you have been in school before and um, you may not have taken advantage of it the way that you should have, but you realize the importance of a degree right now. And that is wonderful. It doesn't matter when you finish, it's just a matter of finishing. 
And so um, you all know what you want. You know why, the, why you're here and you have a different focus. You have a different um, drive. You have a different passion about getting your degree. And that's why I like working with uh, the adult degree students. Um, and that's why I liked that graduation is the second, my second most favorite thing is because it's rewarding to see um, you all finish your degree after being um, in school for years. Um, so glad to have you again. Hope that you will join us in the spring. And I'm going to uh, pass the mic to uh, George, who works in my office as well. Hi, um, I'm George, as she said. Um, I have been with the adult degree program now for six years. Um, started shortly after the, about a year into the existence of the program. I have taught and worked at the University of Texas. I've worked at ACC and I've worked here with the adult degree program. And, and much like Shakitha said, I really love working with my adult students. You guys are the best to work with because as Shakitha pointed out, you know why you're here. You're here to get something you want, not because mama said you had to or because you couldn't think of anything better to do. And that makes my job so much easier. And it is very rewarding to work with people, see them go from start to finish and, and graduate and get out and start the next big phase. So I'm really, really excited that you're thinking about joining us and you know, would love to answer any questions you might have. Then Dr. Daly, I do want to apologize. I forgot. I do have a picture of you and forgot to put it up here. Um, but I will allow you to kind of introduce yourself at this time as well um, and let uh, students know just who you are. Hello. My name is Deborah Daly, Dr. Daly. I'm new to HT and I'm, I come from a background of public education as a classroom teacher and, and an administrator. So I'm looking forward to working here and getting to know the family um, with the adult degree program. And I'd like to say welcome. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. Um, and so with the student services team, um, it's kind of like a, almost like a relay race. Um, Tyrus and myself, the enrollment team, we work with you at the beginning and then pass the baton off to student services. And they kind of take you the rest of the way. Um, and help you with staying on track with the courses that you need um, to graduate in a timely fashion. Again, as Ms. Stenson mentioned, she loves to see you um, join the program, but she also wants to see you graduate. Um, and so we want to get you in the classes that you need and not just having you take classes because you enjoy being a college student. Um, we want to help you obtain your goal, uh, which is, um, you know, for some it may be a promotion, it may be a personal goal, uh, it may be just to go into a whole nother field, uh, and we want to see you be able to excel in those things. Um, and so some of the services that are offered for our students, um, of course, during this time, it's more so online. Um, but when we resume back at the campus, of course, you'll have um, these um, centers available to you. Um, and so we have a math center um, for those who may be afraid of the math classes um, that you may have to take. Um, we have that uh, center for you to help you with um, getting over that hump. Um, writing, if writing isn't your strong suit, we have the writer studio, um, smart thinking, we have a center for academic excellence. So we have some tools and resources to help you um, overcome any issues or obstacles you feel you may have with continuing your education um, by supplying these services um, for our students. Um, we also have a, a career and graduate development team. Um, Stephen Hatchett is over this and he is amazing. Um, hopefully you will get started with us and you'll have an opportunity to meet him at orientation. Um, and he loves and is very passionate about his job and helping you all, uh, helping students navigate the job market and finding jobs, internships, mentors. Um, he actually had, I think it was, was it PayPal or he had an organization actually come and speak to our students at orientation before they set foot in class. He actually had someone come and speak with them, which was awesome. Um, you know, he is willing and able to help students that want it. Um, and so he's an underutilized source and hopefully 
you will get started with us um, and wanting to get help on the career that you want. And um, we'll reach out to him for assistance. Um, it's a resource. It's part of your tuition. So take advantage of all the resources that are available to you. All right. So a little bit more about the program. So for our adult degree program, we offer an associate degree in liberal arts. Um, so it's nothing um, that is specific to a particular degree, right? It's not tied to business or criminal justice. Um, it's just kind of your first two years. Um, you have an opportunity of obtaining that associate degree on the way to your bachelor's degree. Now, some students, if that's all you want, I mean, that's all you, that's what you can go for, but we're hoping that you do want to get that bachelor's degree to help excel you even more. Um, and so the four bachelor degree options that we have available are business administration, criminal justice, psychology, and then education for EC through sixth grade. And I'm going to pause here and see if I see Whitney has a question. Um, so Whitney, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question. So with the question in this, so I basically, I did dual credit in high school. Um, I wanted to go to, you know, like the whole Ivy League thing. And then I ended up going to Texas Tech. I declared my major for psychology, but I've also at ACC, I was going to go for education for early childhood education. <laughs> And I've always been interested in criminal law. Is there something to like do more than one bachelor's? Like I feel like I probably have 60 to 90 credits with everything combined in those three fields because I was so sporadic with it. Uh, even business admin, I've kind of done all of them because um, I was the kid who chose to go to school instead of, you know, work or army. Um, so is there something like that? Or is it just like one at a time type deal? Or can you get multiple? How does that work? Um, so for our adult degree program right now, we um, only, you're only able to obtain one bachelor's degree. Um, so you unfortunately would have to pick between education, psychology, or criminal justice. Um, the way that yeah, program, I would definitely do psychology then. Okay. Yeah, just the way our program is set up, unfortunately, we don't have the opportunity for a double major or minor. So you would just have to pick one of those particular degrees for a bachelor's degree. However, you don't have to stop there. Um, if you, you know, decide later that you want to teach, you can go into our alternative certification program. Um, you just have to have a bachelor's degree and then you can go and get certified, you know, to teach later. Um, or go for a master's degree if you decide you want an MBA, which we also offer. So we can help you with all of those. It just would not be at one time. Um, yeah, then that's can, perfect. I, uh, I was wanting to get my master's and then my doctorate. Um, so yeah, well, that sounds good. Okay, thank you for the answer. Yeah, no problem. So yep, you can get your bachelor's in psychology. You can get your turn to certification with this and then your MBA. However, after the bachelor's degree, you want to do it. There's your options. Um, do we have any other questions um, just kind of on the degree programs at this time? Thank you. Uh, so uh, I'm wondering if you have an online presence where you go to school online as opposed to having um, to uh, actually go to the school itself physically. Okay, great question. So um, I actually was going to cover that next. So that kind of leads me into talking a little bit more about the program. Um, right now, um, for the fall term, we are currently online. Um, however, historically, we are a campus-based program. Um, but just due to the pandemic, we are take, uh, we're take we're 100% online for the fall. I am not sure what it will look like in the spring. Um, however, for most students that we've been able to speak, that we've spoken with, the amount of times that you come to the campus have been pretty convenient enough for uh, students to be able to still attend our classes. So how does our program work? It is a year round program. So uh, what that means is you'll attend all three terms. You will attend fall, spring, summer, right? It's year round. And the reason that we do that is because you're only taking one class at a time for five weeks. So for fall, you'll go to class for five weeks after that, your next class is five weeks. After that, your next class is five weeks and your fall term is done. Um, so you're taking three classes per term. That will give you uh, nine credits of term. 
uh, to hopefully give you 27 credits in academic year. Um, so by going year round, you're able to bring in 27 credits, keeping you at a full-time pace. Um, no matter if we continue online for the spring or if we go back to campus in the spring, the structure will maintain the same. Um, so you will still just take one class at a time for five weeks and class time will still be from 6 to 10 p.m. So we try to keep the consistency there so that, you know, the only difference is, is instead of coming to the campus that one night, you're a, um, you know, you go online or vice versa. Any questions on that? Raise your hand and I can unmute you. Okay. So is there an option um, um, to, if the, the, if it goes back to in campus, is there an option to do it distantly? if you're still concerned um, for health reasons? Um, from my understanding, I don't know if that's been talked about. Um, Ms. Stenson, Ms. Marmel, if y'all have any um, information on that. Um, I, go ahead. So, um, no, there. I mean, there's been talks. Uh, we've st started our initial conversations about that. We are expecting that our president and CEO will make a decision about how spring will look um, close to probably the mid-October. So um, that's mm -hmm. what I'm thinking, mid-October to late October. But I'm thinking more like mid because we have to do some preparations if we're going to um, to come back together again. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can say, however, if we if the decision is made to come back to campus, I don't think that there's going to be an option for you to stay home if, if that's the, the, the route that we go. Um, now, I, again, I cannot be 100% on that um, because that's going to require if, because, and the reason why I'm saying that is because that will require our instructors um, in the classroom to have to do both right so they would have to teach whoever decides to come and then they would have to do um you know have the information available videos available on online information available uh for those who would choose not to okay. um but again we are in the very very um stages of that and i'm glad that you mentioned it because now that when we when we continue to have these conversations, I can at least say that that question has has been asked. And is that an option? Okay, thank you very much. appreciate it. Yes, and, that, and that's definitely a good question. And I will say this, that the president definitely does, you know, think about the safety of everyone. Um, as a as an example for fall, we did not have any students return back to the campus. Um, and so there were some schools, right, that are taking that chance and having some students on campus and some online. All of our students right now are online. So she's definitely trying to consider everyone's safety when making these decisions. Um, so, you know, she is definitely looking out for the best interests of the students, faculty, staff members um, as a whole. Do we have any other questions on how the program works? Please raise your hand. Um, so this is kind of an opportunity for some Q and A's. Um, you know, if there's any questions that you have, this is definitely an opportunity that maybe we didn't cover something on the slide that you have questions on that you can speak to us about. Um, you know, if you're still wondering, you know, why is it worth it to get a degree, we can talk about it. Um, balancing work life and family, if you have questions or concerns over that, those are some things that we can talk about. These are some questions that we've received before. And if these are concerns of yours, definitely express these things to us so we can talk about it. Um, you never know who else in attendance may have the same question that you can help out as well. Um, so this is kind of an opportunity if you have any general questions um, to learn more about the program um, and what's offered, format or structure, um, this is your opportunity just to raise your hand and um, ask us some questions. Thank you so much. You guys are HBCU, aren't you? You are correct. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I will mention, um, it's Tyrus Smith, by the way. Uh, I will mention that um, in addition to us being a historical black college university, um, 
United Negro College Fund scholarships are available to any individual that attends an HBCU nationwide, regardless of your ethnicity. Um, in addition, we're also historically related to United Methodist Church and the United Church of Christ. So if you happen to fall within one of those denominations, there's a possibility you could receive scholarships from that congregation as well. Um, so I just wanted you to be aware of that also. Thank you for that, Tyrus. Um, okay, so I see, I think it's Ashley. I'm going ahead, uh, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question. Oh, hi there. Thank you. So I missed the first part of it. So I don't know if you discussed it already. Um, if we're wanting to continue with the application process and um, all of that, where, what are, are you going to discuss next steps on that? Or where do you get it? That is such a great question. That is where I'm <laughs> going next. <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> if you have not applied yet and you are interested in applying, um, we will be sending out an email um, with the steps um, to complete the application. Mm -hmm. um, we love Zoom. Zoom offers a lot of great opportunities. So if you feel like you would like to have one of us walk through the application with you by you sharing your screen with us and we're seeing what you're doing, um, we've done that as well. Um, our job here is to help make sure we can get you started. And so um, you'll be receiving an um, email um, with the links uh, for the application steps. And then Tyrus and myself will be reaching out to you um, to help you move forward with the next steps. Um, spring will be starting the week, the spring courses will be starting the week of uh, January 18th. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can basically start the process now. You're here for the information session. The program sounds like it's a good fit for you. You can reach out, uh, you can complete the process, we can get you registered for class, you know, and get you, you know, award letters and things sooner rather than later so that you're fully prepared um, to start. And um, you know uh, what tuition uh, cost is, you know, if you have enough funds, if you need to pay out of pocket, you'll get to know all these things in advance um, by taking advantage of registering for classes early. Um, and so we will be um, hosting registration next month so if this is uh, definitely a good fit, like I mentioned, um, we are eager and excited uh, to work with you and get you moving towards your goal of continuing your education and hopefully being able to get you registered next month. Okay, wonderful, thank you. You're so welcome. Any other questions? Um, I, I will, I think you mentioned it, Courtney, but um, about us being able to request their transcripts for them. No, I didn't, but Tyrus, go for it. <laughs> um, well, within the application process, uh, you will be completing transcript request forms, and that is so we can request your official transcripts on your behalf. That's something that we do for you. It's included in the application process. We also pay the transcript fee if there is one. Um, the only catch is there cannot be a hold or balance at that previous institution that prevents us from receiving that. If so, it would just have to be taken care of before we could officially admit you. But I wanted you to know that you do not have to request your transcripts and get those to us by you completing the application steps that is included in the process. Thank you for that. There's only one small caveat. If the school does not allow a third party to request your transcripts, unfortunately, we won't be able to do it on your behalf. But um, there will be someone to reach out to you and let you know the steps you would need to take to request that transcript if we can't. But we try to take on that uh, responsibility for you so that you don't have to worry about hunting down transcripts. That can be a headache. And I know um, there was an on the spot admission decision um, available for those who applied and we received all official transcripts. If you are not able to take advantage of that opportunity, it is okay. We can still work on completing the rest of those steps, getting your official transcripts in uh, and trying to get you um, admit it in time to attend registration next month. Um, so if you have any questions and you've been working with an enrollment coach, definitely let that person know. Um, if you have not spoken with anyone, please just be on the lookout for phone calls, emails, or text messages for Tyrus from Tyrus or myself. Okay, Miss Whitney, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay. Um, with that, so I was really going to try to get you guys my ACC transcripts, but my son decided to go and break his other leg. <laughs> it was sprained three weeks ago, and now he broke one. So I cannot guarantee that I can get to the campus to get it, but I know, I think it was Tyrus was telling me there's a form I can fill out because I've already given you guys my driver's license. Um, 
that I can just scan the form and give it to you guys and y'all can get it from ACC, right? That is correct. If you complete the transcript request form, you don't even have to scan it. You can sign, um, fill it out and sign it electronically on the computer or on your phone or tablet. Okay. Um, just fill that out. If we already have your ID, once we get that, I will send that request over to ACC. And I normally receive the transcripts within like 24 hours. Okay, so at ACC, they have my, that's where I started in high school. That's where I went back last, uh, like two years ago. They have my Texas Tech, my South Plains. So would ACC be the only one I need to fill out or would I need to do one for every college I've attended? I love your question. We will need every single college you have attended their individual transcripts. Okay, cool. I can do that. As long as you guys work with me, I can do that too. <laughs> yes. So every, so whenever you complete a transcript request form, you go back and you fill out another one. There's like a link to, to click to do more. Um, okay. The reason we do that is so that we can see everything that you took at each institution, what the actual course was. Because mm -hmm. trying to rely on ACC's transcript, maybe they didn't take something that maybe we would. Um, yeah. And so we don't want to shortchange you. We want to make sure that we see what you have taken and be able to get that over for you. Well, then that's perfect because I think with that, I might have like 90 hours, honestly, because I've been switching ideas of what I want to do in life so much. So um, I will get on that then either later tonight or tomorrow morning. Thank you, guys. You're so welcome. And so as she mentioned, she had dual credit. Um, if anybody in, in high school took CLEP course, I'm sorry, did... Um, dual credit or even if you took CLEP or AP exams, um, those are also transferable credits that you can look at um, wanting to bring over. Um, and so AP scores, you have to get sent to us as well as CLEP. Um, I think they're both on College Board website, um, but you would want to send those over to us to see if we can bring any of those um, those credits over. Again, we want to try to maximize and bring over as many general education and elective courses that we can. Um, to help you, um, you know, get past the initial two years and get you into your major level courses and get you completed. I will add, uh, when it comes to the application steps, uh, they, you're basically going to receive them in, um, they're going to be maroon tabs, basically. You'll see a few maroon tabs, and what you'll do is click on each one to complete that application step, uh, just so anyone is aware, and that way you'll be able to knock them out. You'll go through them in order until they're all complete, and that would be the application steps. Thank you for that, Tyrus. So, Ms. Marmel, Ms. Stenson, do you have anything else that you would like to share before we end the evening? Um, I don't. I think you covered everything. Yeah, me too. Awesome. Mr. Smith, anything? I will definitely be following up with my students um, tomorrow. You know who you are. Um, thank you for attending. I will, I'll follow up with you tomorrow to um, touch base on, on what to expect moving forward. And same for myself. Um, I will be reaching out to anyone else to make sure that you have the necessary things that you need to move forward. And again, um, everyone may receive an email from just Tyrus or myself this evening with the application steps. If there's certain things you've completed, just, you know, um, you can click on it, make sure that you've done it. And if so, you can just move on to the next um, button uh, to make sure that you've completed all the steps. Again, the sooner we can get things um, turned in for you and get you admitted, we can get you registered early. Um, and you can take advantage of knowing that uh, you're going into the holidays with everything done that you need to done. Have a good evening.